Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you all tuned in to see the results of using Fenty Skin for going on two weeks now. And I'm so excited to share with you what I've seen and how my skin has improved since I've started using it. Um, I do this routine once in the morning and again at night before I go to sleep. And my skin type is oily combination. I usually get oily around my T-zone. And since Corona, I've been breaking out around my chin um, and around my mouth because of mask, I'm assuming. But um, I can't wait to go into these products and show you them one by one and how they have affected my skin in a good way and how they have affected my skin in a bad way. And stay tuned for some really shocking before and after pictures because they're just that good. Like, if you're not shocked, I don't know, but that shit threw me for a loop. I couldn't believe the progress my skin has made. So I just got done using the Fenty Skin Cleanser. My face feels pretty clean. It doesn't feel too, too dry, though it might look dry. But um, I'm actually almost done with the cleanser. So I don't know if I use too much, but I usually put about like a quarter size amount in my hand and I rub it in and I, you know. But um, I'm not sure if I use too much or not, but it's almost done and I have to squeeze it a lot, a lot to get it to come out. Um, but it's fine, I don't really mind that so as a beginner in the skincare uh you know routine process or whatever i um i am new to trying out products and knowing what works on my skin but in the beginning of my skincare journey i did use an exfoliant that i am in love with and when Bianca put out her fenty skin i was kind of hoping that it would come with an exfoliant but it didn't and that was a very big disappointment for me, but it's fine because I don't mind sticking to the one that I initially started with. So that exfoliant is actually the Polish Choice Exfoliant with 2% BHA and salicylic acid, and it is supposed to unclog and shrink in large pores, smooth and even skin tone, lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. So I love this exfoliant. It is, you know, just everything to me. Um, it's the second step in my skincare process. After cleansing, I put some of this exfoliant on a um, cotton pad and I just get two wipes on my face. And you know, this helps for me because it gets me to see you know, if my face is clean or not. Um, after I wipe it, I get to see you know all the leftover stuff that I thought I washed off or you know, like dead skin and stuff like that. I like to see that stuff come off. I don't know about y'all, but I like to see it. So like, look, just washed my face and I already have, hold on, and I already have, you know, stuff on the pad. Now this exfoliant, I use it in the morning and in the night. When my face feels really dry and tight, I don't exfoliate because I don't feel like I need it and I don't want to dry out my face anymore. So I just try to read my skin and see what it needs and then go from there. But this exfoliant, it does great things for me because I usually have like white heads all around my chin and on my nose. And like I'll get, you know, my skin just looks like it needs to be cleaned. And with this exfoliant, I never have that problem. Ever. my skin is just flawless and clean all the time and I just love it I just love it so yeah this was the pad by the end and I just washed my face and I just woke up so I haven't been anywhere for the day or last night since last time I washed my face but that's why it's good to exfoliate because you never know what's on your face so the third step in my skin care routine is the Fenty Fat Water. Um, if you don't know about the products, you need to go watch my first impressions video where I talked about the products more in depth. I didn't even show you guys how I'm going to put it in my hand. I put about a dime size amount. A little bit of this goes a long way. So you don't have to worry about, you know, using too much. 
because you put it on your hand and it's almost like water, but it's like a thick water. It's a fat water. So you put it on, get it all up in there, and you just wait for that to sink in. It takes about a minute or a few seconds. Um, this product is a toner and a serum. So it's supposed to help you um, even your skin tone as well as shrink your pores um, and reduce the look of dark spots. Even skin tone fights shine. That I can say this I don't know if it's this or if it's the moisturizer, but my face doesn't get oily and I have oily combination skin. So with the fat water and the moisturizer, I do get like a little glow with the moisturizer, but the fat water I think really helps to like keep my oil inside and I love it. Like throughout the day, I don't get too oily. I get like a reasonable amount of oil, but not like how I used to, where I'm just like, oozing out oil it's disgusting but with these products i don't have that problem which i love 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 <laughs> um so moving, moving right along um step three in my skincare process is the fenty moisturizer and sunscreen um this product i do about three pumps and i rub it into my hands and i don't rub it into my face i kind of just place it on my skin because of the fact that I put so many other products I don't want to like rub it out so I kind of just place it just like that and um I wait for it to sink in and it always sinks in so don't worry about that but it, it always sinks in and with this product it leaves me with a little bit of a glow, which I don't mind, because it's not an oily or like a greasy glow. It's like a refreshing, like, wow, look at your skin glow, which, again, I love, 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 love. Um, <laughs> only thing I don't like about this product is that it seems like after a few hours that it's been on my face, for whatever reason, it starts to seep into my eyes and... If and when it does that, my eyes burn and I cry. I cry, I cry, I cry. And I don't like that. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's one of the chemicals that's in the moisturizer sunscreen. Um, but it makes me cry. It makes my eyes burn, it makes my eyes water. And I just don't like that. So I don't know if there's something, you know, what exactly it is or why it does that. But... It definitely makes my eyes water whenever it gets in my eyes. But, you know, it's, it's lotion on your face. So I don't know how it gets into my eyes, but it does. And when it does, child, mm, mm, that shit start burning and get into, ooh, ooh. But... So this is what it looks like when all the products are applied. Like I said, the moisturizer does add a glow, but as you can see, it did sink into my skin. There's no white leftover or white residue on my face. It just looks glowy and moisturized and plump and clean. And I like that. So part two of my Fenty Skin review I like Fenty Skin. I will include some before and after pictures in this video so you can see what my skin looked like before I started using it. And I'll include pictures of my skin now. And I can personally say I see a big difference in my skin. Um, my skin looks a lot more even as far as my skin tone. It looks brighter, it looks more glowy. It just looks a lot more brighter and I love that. Um, I feel like before I started using these products, my skin was dull, I would always get oily, it just looked very dry and droopy, and I really wanted to fix that. I, th those are my key things, and I feel like I've done that with these products. I feel like these products have helped me to achieve those goals. So thank you, Rihanna. Um, I will 
decide if I'm gonna do a one month update or not, but I feel like this review is enough so you can know if you wanna try it or not. Like I said, I have oily combination skin, so I get oily right about here, and I usually break out on my cheeks or around my mouth as of recently, because there's like the mask with the Rona and everything. It's been causing me to break out like crazy around my chin. And um, since using these products, I haven't had one breakout. I haven't had a pimple. I haven't had anything. So, look, <laughs> like I can't make this up.